what happened is uh, we went from a high to a low in that uh, the GDP went to a negative percentage uh, close to negative 0.6 in September uh, 2020 uh, that is a year from uh, a year uh, back the COVID-19 pandemic has completely changed the DNA of the fashion industry. Fashion for most individuals is a basic. However, with the current COVID-19 pandemic, the industry has been disrupted. The impact felt by both the producers and consumers. There's been a gradual growth in the industry as well. The freedom to walk from one retail shop to the next for a personal luxury experience has been curtailed by the need to maintain social and physical distancing so as to help stop the spread of the virus. Shipping continued. Of course, there was a delay when COVID came, but now I think there's a, a sufficient uh, supply of clothes. Uh, the market is improving, only that uh, the people who are in that business have to be a bit innovative. Like many old sellers, Maureen has faced hurdles in her business as many of the buyers couldn't opt to buy clothes due to financial shock brought about by COVID-19. Sasa watu alijificha kwenye manyumba, watu alisimamishwa makazi, kwa hivyo ikakuwa ngumu, kifungua kazi, na jipata niwe peke yako. Indietia sala kubwa sana kwa sababu siku pata tena mzigo, wakuweza kuuza. Hata ile stoko ilikuwa kidogo ilifikia hatua ya kuisha na tukabaki hatupati mzigo. Kwa sababu hiyo hali ilihenda kwa muda siingizi na kula mtaji kwa kweli inapiga hesabu nilipoteza pesa. Ninge kwa muda huo mtangu imehanza mpaka sasa hivi. Mpaka sasa hivi nikipiga mahesabu ningekuwa kwenye herfu kama mia, mia tatu hivi. Fashion brands that had built their business model on retail shops now have to go back to the drawing board to come up with fresh ideas to survive the pandemic. Uh, we have not fully recovered. Uh, as you can see that uh, the markets, uh, the export industry is not doing well and also manufacturing locally. Uh, some people had to scale down because of a uh, low demand of goods. <laughs> Lakini sasa hata nikifunga sina mahali pa kwenda kufanya tena. Sina mahali pa kwenda kufungua ingine ama kufanya kazi ingine. Kwa hivyo na jifinyilia tu hapa, nipata tu yoki dogo ikipatikana, nisawa ikikosa, nisawa. For instance, before COVID-19, Sam Omindo, a co-founder of Gentile Fashions, had a strong passion for fashion, which saw him start a contemporary fashion brand. The the textile industry, the manufacturing industry is so robust. So I was exposed to this whole culture of fashion and thinking about back home, I was like, wow, why aren't we doing anything uh, similar to this? And so when I came back, it was during my second or third year in uni, and I was like, um, why can't I consider doing this as a, you know, as, as a full-time thing? Kenya's textile and apparel sector has the potential to play a key role in anchoring the country's deeper movement into middle income status and in serving as a source of gainful employment for its fast growing young population. Then I did some research about you know where did suits come from, where did pants come from, where did men's wear generally start. And this research took me to two tailoring houses in the UK known as Henry Poole and Gibbs and Hawks. So these guys have been tailoring for more than 200 years. In fact, the basic structure of the suit is essentially British. So trying to understand the silhouette, trying to understand this whole and wrapping my head around this, I got further intrigued. So I stopped thrifting and um, scale down on importation of pieces that I would get from Turkey then I decided to focus in um, how can I manufacture locally because I saw there's a need and there are very few brands that actually you can say are Kenyan and are making stuff locally. As a manufacturer good it offers opportunities for increased value capture and streamlined trade logistics and for the building of skills and experience from the factory floor to management level. Based on these foundations, it therefore serves as a potential gateway to other manufactured goods offering opportunities for Kenya to capture an increasing share of global trade and to advance economic diversification. better than the previous year because there were regulation about no movement no gatherings. Pasa sa hivi kuna gatherings, 
ila ni idadi ndio imepunguzwa naweza sema kazi iko better juu kwa wale wa few ambao wanakubaliwa ku kuhudhuria harusi sherehe mbalimbali mbali. watakuja kwenye duka watafute nguo smart wavae waende wa sherehe ila si kama awali kuna wengine walijiweka stoko yao ya nguo ambazo walikuwa nazo na hizo ndio zilituweza kutusogeza sogeza taratibu ijapo zilipanda bei kwa kiwango cha juu sana eh ili tukuja kufikia hatua ambayo mpaka wao na wao wakaishua soko likawa kama limeisha kabisa more than 100 kenyan apparel manufacturers have temporarily closed and sent hundreds of workers home because of decline in demand in export markets primarily in the united states so we have not seen people uh, injecting funds to the economy as before uh, this may take a while uh, we're looking at uh, an election year uh, with the pandemic still on uh, of course companies that retrenched have not yet uh, uh, fully reopened the offices so this may drag uh, to maybe 2023 the affected units are mostly from the export processing zones in Nairobi Mombasa Kisumu and Machakos the industrialization trade and enterprise development ministry said kwa kwanza hii mambo ya KRA waondolee na sisi wakatutaremshia bei sababu hiyo ndio imetufinyilia sana sana kama wafanyi biashara wa chini au sisi watu wa mzigo moja moja hiyo mambo imetufinyilia sana the market is improving only that uh, the people who are in that business have to be a bit innovative uh, currently the economy uh, it's it's more of a global village people are shipping clothes from Europe uh, the America so the current uh, fashion industry is expected to grow only that uh, for only the people who innovate are the ones that will survive a few have however remained afloat and have turned to the production of face masks and other personal protective equipment as exports declined with the new containment measures that are in public you have to be in a mask so we have seen people uh, when they get uh, their clothes, they're trying to match uh, their outfits uh, with a mask and also other people have uh, taken up some new technologies that, such as the face shields. Just appreciating the journey and the process as you're trying to build up um, a fashion brand is one of the things I'd encourage uh, anyone and also just rolling with the punches you will make mistakes um, you will fail um, your expectations will have to be postponed just accepting that that is part of the process and basically pushing through the manufacturing sector one of the big four agenda pillars and critical for the country's economic growth and development remains among those affected by covid-19 mambo ikiaribika aje bado una stick manake ka singe kwa passion itimi wakati wa corona ninge ningeacha kabisa lakini iliamua kungangana is it a kenyan or a global problem with the economy ever recover this is the question most business persons and kenyans are asking as most will say time will tell andrew kero for the swift in arabic